In this video, I'll teach you how to do implicit differentiation. How to differentiate a function whose dependent variable is not explicitly stated in terms of the independent variable. If x squared plus y squared is equal to 3x, find the y dx. This is the first question. Now, in this function that you can see here, we have x squared plus y squared equal to 3x. y is not made the subject of the formula. Both x and y are mixed up in the equation. I will differentiate each of the terms that I have here. Differentiate x squared to get 2x. Remember, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. So we have 2x plus Differentiate y squared, that will be 2y dy dx, which is equal to, differentiate 3x is 3. So I will make dy dx the subject of the formula. So if I take 2x to the other side, I will be having 2y times dy dx is equal to 3 minus 2x. I will now divide both sides by 2y. Divide both sides by 2y. 2y will cancel 2y. Therefore, dy dx is equal to 3 minus 2x all over 2y. This is dy dx. Okay, we can make an exception. If y is equal to zero here, this entire derivative will be undefined. So we can say y is not equal to zero. Because if y is zero, this will become undefined, all right? I want to differentiate the function x squared y plus y squared plus four x equal to one. I will differentiate term by term. Now, this first term I have here, x squared y, is a product of x squared and y. Okay, so to differentiate it, I will make use of the product rule. Remember the product rule. It says dy dx, dy dx is equal to v du dx plus u dv dx. Okay, we can take x squared as v and we can take y as u, or we can take x squared as u and y as v. Anyone, we are still correct. So let us take x squared as v. Going by this product rule, v times du dx. So v is x squared times du dx. We are taking y as u now. du dx will be differentiate y with respect to x. So differentiate y, you have one. That's multiply the value of the derivative by the y dx. Plus, remember we took x squared as v, so u is y. Then write y times dv dx. What's dv dx? Differentiate x squared. So differentiate x squared to get 2x y times 2x. Let's now differentiate y squared. Plus, differentiate y squared, that's 2y. Then we'll still multiply it by what? dy dx. Then plus, differentiate 4x to get 4. Then, Differentiate 1 to get 0. So we have this. S squared times 1 times dy dx. That will be S squared dy dx plus 2x times y, 2xy plus 2y dy dx plus 4 equal to 0. So what we are going to do here is to make dy dx the subject of the formula. Okay, so 
all other terms that are not in dy dx we move to the other side. And if we do that, we we'll have the goal is to make the y the x the subject of the formula. So at the left hand side, we can factor out the y the x. The y the x can come out. Then we we'll have here x squared plus we're having 2y left, which is equal to minus 4 minus 2xy. So we'll now divide both sides by s squared plus 2y, s squared plus 2y. This we cancel this. That means dy dx is equal to minus 4 minus 2xy divided by s squared plus 2y. This is the derivative of y with respect to x. Differentiate with respect to x, x plus y all squared equal to 5. I will use two methods to solve it. Two methods. So just watch till the end and see how I'm going to solve it. This is the first method. The first method is I will expand s plus y all squared. If I expand s plus y squared, I will have s squared plus 2xy plus y squared equal to what? 5. So let's differentiate. Differentiate x squared to get 2x. Let's differentiate 2xy. We are having xy here, a product of x and y. So we'll make use of the product rule. Okay, the 2 is a constant. Let's just leave it outside. By the product rule that says v du dx plus u times dv dx, let's choose x to be v. So it will be x times, differentiate this. Differentiate y to get 1. That is times 1, dy dx. That is 1 times dy dx. Then write y, differentiate x. Differentiate x to get 1. This is it. Write x, differentiate y. Then write y, differentiate x. That is the point. Differentiate y squared now. We have 2y dy dx. And this is equal to, differentiate 5. 5 is a constant. You get 0. 2x plus, let's expand this bracket, x times dy dx is x dy dx times 2, 2x two dy dx, y times 1 is y times 2, 2y, two then plus 2y dy dx equal to 0. So let's make dy dx the subject of the formula. But first of all, we have to collect like terms. All the terms in dy dx will be on one side, and all other terms will go to the other side. So we we'll have this 2x dy dx plus 2y dy dx will be equal to 0 minus 2x minus 2y. So these two terms have crossed to the right hand side. We have minus 2x minus 2y. So we can factor out dy dx from here. dy dx, all in brackets, 2x dy dx divided by dy dx, we have 2x. And here we have 2y. You get it, which is equal to what? 0 minus 2x minus 2y is minus 2x minus 2y. So we will now divide both sides by the coefficient of dy dx, which is 2x plus 2y. And if we do that, dy dx will now be equal to minus 2x minus 2y all over this 2x plus 2y. Okay. Minus minus is 
common to the two terms that we have here. Minus is common to the two terms that we have at the numerator. So we can factor minus out. We can say this is minus all in brackets. If the minus comes out, the two terms become positive. 2x plus 2y. So that minus 1 times 2x is minus 2x. Minus 1 times 2y is minus 2y. All over 2x plus 2y. So that 2x plus 2y can cancel 2x plus 2y. And finally, dy dx will be equal to minus 1. Let's see the second method. All right. I don't want to expand x plus y all squared. Okay? But from what I can see, it is a function of a function. x plus y all squared. Yes, it is a function of a function. So I will use the chain rule to determine the derivative of this left-hand side. That's what I'm going to do. Now, going by the chain rule, the short principle to do it, this is it. The inner function is x plus y. What I will do is to differentiate this inner function with respect to x, okay? Remember, this is an implicit function. So let me differentiate x plus y with respect to x. Differentiate x to get 1. That is, differentiate x with respect to x, okay? Differentiate y with respect to x. That will be dy dx, or 1 times dy dx. And close that in the bracket. What is the power of x plus y here? 2 multiplied by the power. Then rewrite the expression again. x plus y subtract 1 from this power. 2 minus 1 is 1. So we can leave it like this. And this is equal to differentiate 5, we have 0. Remember, we are looking for dy dx. So this is simply 2 times x plus y times 1 plus dy dx equal to 0. We are looking for dy dx. Let's divide both sides by 2x plus y. If we do that, we're having 1 plus dy dx equal to 0. Dividing both sides by 2 times x plus y means dividing the left by 2 times x plus y, which will actually cancel this one, and dividing the right by 2 times x plus y. Of course, 0 divided by 2 times x plus y is still 0. Okay, so we're having just 1 plus dy dx equal to 0. Finally, dy dx is equal to 0 minus 1, which is minus 1, because the 1 we cross to the other side and turn to a minus, okay? So this is the second approach to obtain the derivative of x plus y all squared equal to 5. All right? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Remember to subscribe, like, and share the video to your friends and to your classmates.